Hi guys, welcome to Fishing Fishing Tackle Channel. I wanted to show you how to fish with fly line. Uh, so this is a technique I learned from a video that Dan Hernandez made. It's on YouTube, so if you want to check it out. You just need either size 1 or 2. So if you're... Um, just make sure you have size 1 or 2 or 3 or bigger. But the key for it is having a live bait hook and then having small hook for size ones for smaller anchovies to maybe size two or bigger for if you have sardines so you know either you could call ahead or sometimes you won't know until the day of fishing so if you are going for rock fishing and uh, calico bass or sand bass usually you're gonna need a smaller hook and just hope that they have anchovies because if you have sardines uh, unless they're going fishing for yellowtail barracuda or other big fish it's gonna be harder to catch uh, they're gonna have to cut them up into strip so for smaller hook you want anchovy um, and for anchovies, you need to use smaller hooks like size one or two. For me, uh, mustad is a good way to go. This you'll be able to. I caught a bonito with these hooks, so it's strong enough and thick enough. And you want to have a leader, so uh, for your with your main line, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is um, make a loop just like this. Okay, a loop like this, right? And then you want to go in through the eyes, and then make sure you go in through this loop, just like that. And just like improved uh, clinch knot, right? You want to go one, two, three four, five, and six, and then you want to go back into this loop, okay? Just you want to go back into this loop, and you want to grab it onto the, the line and just, oh. all right, I screwed up, but I'll show you again. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this out, so that's going to happen. Um, so I was almost there. You still have the loop, you just want to put the line back through the loop. That's what you want to do. Okay. Back into the loop. So I'm having any trouble and that's okay. Just like that. And you want to clinch it. And then pull it down. So depending on how close you want to, uh, how big your you want this loop to be you could either have the loop here closer to you or here to me it doesn't really matter um, because the reason you want this loop right here for your hook is when you have your anchovy on you want it to swim more lively so again dan hernandez this isn't something that i made i uh, i'll give credit to dan hernandez because before i used to make my flying line and a lot of people do this and uh, I think this has been more effective for me rather than tying straight to the um, hook getting this loop will make the fish l give a lot more mobility to your anchovy or sardines um, so I highly recommend doing this so this line would probably be tied directly to your braid right so for instance uh, you want before you tie this loop you want to have a sink sinker uh, egg egg sinker so you could have you could fish without it uh, and let it because you're top fishing right uh, top water fishing so the the bait will be swimming around on the top or it'll start going down but in the order f especially if the water condition is somewhat off this is kind of a big one I couldn't find the smaller one but you're looking for, if you search on um, 
Amazon or if you go to a tackle shop, just ask. Or when we when you're at the dock before you get on the boat, just ask for fly line uh, recommended fly line uh, X sinker, and it'll be like one sixteenth of an ounce or one eighth of an ounce. I I usually use like a one eighth to uh, quarter ounce. And again, that's because, um, according to Dan Hernandez, you don't need to use an uh, egg sinker, but sometimes there are uh, sea lions around that might uh, get your bait. So you want the egg sinker so that the bait will, bait will basically sink more to the bottom. So... It'll be like this, and what happens is with the one a sinker, much smaller, right? It's it's, it's going to be this big, so it'll run around pulling like this as it sinks on the bottom. And it's going to have the mobility to move around, and you'll have a better chance of catching your calico bass or bonito or barracuda. And I've been very successful with this, and um, that's one of the key. Second key to catching a lot of fish is again go to the back where it's crowded. Um, if they're taking all the spaces, you're gonna have to wait for someone to catch and have to rehook and just jump in there. Uh, or if you're fishing from the side of the boat, uh, let the line go and just follow your line because the 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 deckhands or the mates will tell you follow your line, follow your line, meaning. If the line goes to the back, uh, just follow it, uh, whether you go under or over somebody, and just let them know, you know, politely let them know, and you just follow the line. And for putting on the hook, um, don't stress out about it or act, act like you know what you're doing. All you need to do is grab one of the deckhands or um, the mates and ask them to show them different ways of hooking it. So they'll show one way to hook it by the nose um, or hook it under over uh, on its chin of the anchovy and or if it's for like sardine and you need it to sink to the bottom they're going to show you how to hook it through the belly there's plenty of videos again from dan hernandez and other channels so check those videos out but that's about it i mean that's how you um fly line and good luck with that, and I'll see you guys later.